Natasha. So I wanted to show you History Unboxed. This is the Sumerian city of Uruk, and I first wanted to show you how adorable the actual box is. So the box is decorated. It is so cute. Okay. Now let's open it up and show you what's inside. So the first thing you get is this little booklet here. It has a sticker for your timeline. If you get the welcome box, it comes with a timeline to put the timeline stickers in. However, I didn't get that. Um, I didn't get the subscription. I actually just ordered two individual boxes right now, this Uruk one and then the Egypt one because I wanted to try them out and see what I thought. Um, and I got these to go along with the mystery of history and all the other stuff we're doing for history. I'll link the video of what we're doing. The one component I was missing with my history plan is hands-on activities, which is specifically why I got these boxes. But anyway, there is a timeline sticker if you do get the subscription um, or just purchase the welcome box on its own. So here it has some information. And then it talks about the Epic of Gilgamesh, and it gives some suggestions for books to read of the Epic of Gilgamesh for different ages. But it doesn't come with the books, but it does give you the suggestions. And then it has art in ancient Uruk, and then it gives a craft to do, the directions for the craft and the materials for the craft are in the box, which I'll show you in a minute. And then it gives a recipe and directions for cookies. And again, the materials you need are in the box. The ingredients for the cookies themselves aren't in the box, but everything else is in the box. And then right here, it gives you further reading suggestions. Again, these books don't come in the box, but they are suggested. Have this little letter here talking about what we're going to be learning about. And it does come with a coloring page on cardstock, just one. And then in this box we have this Descent of Inanna. I don't know if I said that right. That's a Sumerian myth. Okay, and then we get into these materials. The first thing we have is Gilgamesh and the lion and in that guide it says that you can notice the interesting look of it and you could look up more Sumerian brickwork pictures online so this is kind of just like a novelty item and then we have the supplies for the two other projects so the first one is to tie, or not tie day, but dye a pillowcase is this tumble dye. I'm going to get this here, this here, and a pillowcase. Now, since I have multiple kids, there is a sibling add-on you can get but I didn't do that so what I did is I went to Walmart and I got more pillowcases so that's what I did because that would cheaper than getting the sibling add-ons and then the next thing you have is the cookie kit and so basically you make the cookies and then you're going to you know cut them out with the cookie cutter and then use this uh, cuneiform alphabet and the stylus is that's how you say it to um, make marks in your cookies so that's pretty fun so I'll just give you my very first kind of thoughts and impressions on this so this box is like $60 almost and that does not include shipping and so that is really pricey I feel like for what you get because really you just get two craft activities and 
a coloring page, but I mean, that's not a big deal. And the little book here and the little novelty toy. This is nice because it does give you information. It gives you directions and it is in color. So here's my thoughts. Like I really love this idea of having everything planned out for me. And that I'm super stoked about. I really like how I can actually save this box and then reuse it later on. So obviously I'd have to, you know, purchase more pillowcases and make new cookies, that sort of thing. But I can save this so for down the road, if I'm studying the Sumerians with my kids again, I can do this later on. Um, and so a lot of it is reusable, but it is really expensive, I feel like, for what you get in this box. But at the same time, I'm not that creative and I would have never thought of these things. Yeah, it is really pricey. So that's just my first thought. Now everything comes, you know, so cute and the box is so cute and it's really nicely put together. It does just seem extremely pricey for what you get. But again, the simplicity of having everything I need was awesome. So that is my initial thoughts on this. I think it is a fantastic idea. So you could use this as a whole curriculum if you get like their subscription or you get their, you can buy the whole shebang for let's say ancient history. And you, if you got all of the books that were recommended, you could use this as an entire curriculum. Now that's not how I'm doing it, but honestly it is the most expensive history curriculum I've ever seen. I'll, I'll just say that. I really did want some hands-on projects and so for that purpose I think it's awesome we'll see when I get the Egypt box if that comes with more and is more kind of worth the money so the girls and I used this and we made the cylinder seals but they're actually not cylinders and this really didn't work out we followed the directions but it was just kind of blobs on the pillowcases versus really anything we could make out really well. This one was the best one that turned out, but the rest of them really quite didn't turn out that well. So this was kind of a miss. Then we made the cookies and that was a lot more fun. We had a lot of fun making the cookies. I think those did turn out very, very well. But I do feel like these activities you could put together on your own quite easily. And the information in the booklet we had already learned in the Mystery of History. So it wasn't really any new information for us. So overall, I do feel like this box was overpriced for what you got. And that's my honest opinion. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to see more homeschool curriculum reviews, monthly homeschool updates, hauls, and more. You can also find me on Instagram to see our day-to-day -day homeschool life. Find me on Facebook at Educational Roots and join my homeschooling group. I'd love to connect more with you.